What's up, everyone? Welcome to Agree to Disagree. My name is Chris, and tonight I'm reviewing the newest episode of True Detective entitled After You've Gone. Um, now, before anyone says anything, uh, my background isn't what it usually is tonight because I am the, in Tacoma, Washington on a Habitat for Humanity trip, so I'm doing this in the basement of the church I'm staying in. So, with that being said, let's get to the review. So, this episode, um, as most people who watch True Detective know, that it is the second to last episode, I guess the penultimate episode. Um, so next week is the finale, and this week is really setting it up very, very nicely. As anyone who's been watching my reviews knows, I'm absolutely in love with this show. Um, it's a great show, and I'm really interested to see how the anthology uh, show thing uh, picks up for next season. But now I'm going to focus on this episode. Um, I thought this episode was very good in progressing the story, setting it up for the final episode. Um, it takes place mostly in the current day stuff, which I've kind of been anticipating. Um, I know that I've mentioned a couple times. Um, I've been anticipating them kind of doing the current day stuff towards the end, but and with everything else kind of setting it all up. Um, it was kind of cool to see that be the majority of the episode. I did really enjoy the, I think it's 2012 there, and the 2012 um, story of Rust and heart and kind of after, since they haven't talked to each other in about like 10 years or so so it's really interesting to kind of see their interactions and I thought that they played really well off each other as the two characters that really don't like each other anymore um, but now they're trying to work together to solve this crime that apparently has still been happening it's kind of it was kind of alluded to in the last episode um, that you know hey this is what's going on um, there's still stuff going on we're suspecting this and that was kind of debunked in this one um, I'll talk about that more in the spoiler section um, but overall, I thought it was a very good episode, great way to set up the finale. Um, it really sucks that it's only a 10 episode season. Uh, I just could, I could watch this series just for days. Like it's one of those series where I've enjoyed every single second of it. There hasn't been a second where I looked back and said, oh man, this is just really dragging on. I don't care. I've cared about every second of it. It really grips you. Um, this episode was no exception. The acting once again, spot on the writing. Great. Everything about it was really just fantastic. Um, I have no complaints about it yet again. Um, it's almost a perfect show. That's all I really have to say. Um, but this episode was great. I loved, 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 loved the current stuff. And it was nice to see some flashbacks kind of to the lost period where they weren't talking to each other. Um, so it really shows how Russ was going about everything, kind of saying, oh, you know, I still got to look into this on my own. Um, you know, he quit the force and everything like that. So it's really interesting to see how he's been going about it on his own, um, really just delving into everything, trying to get everything uh, out there. Um, there's some really disturbing stuff in the current stuff. Uh, I'm going to talk about that on a spoiler. That's a huge one. Um, but overall, great episode, great way to set up the finale. Um, there were really good interactions between the characters in this one, and that's something that really kept me into this episode. There was a lot of really, really, really good interactions with all the characters uh, between Maggie and and uh, Hart, um, then Russ and and Hart. It's just everything. The interaction is really what sold this episode to me. Um, and you can see significantly how, like, how different they are in each time period. So kudos to the hair and makeup people because they really make them look different, significantly different. So you know what time period you're looking at. Um, so now. Uh, for, so basically, I love the episode, love the series so far, um, Hope, really looking forward to the finale. Comment below with anything you thought. Now I'm going to talk some spoilers, so if you have not seen the episode, turn this review off now, come back later, and find out what kind of spoiler stuff I want to talk about, uh, kind of really interesting stuff happened in this one that I want to talk about. So hopefully everyone who hasn't seen the episode has now left us, um, you know, <laughs> so, or so I say. Um, so now some spoiler stuff. Uh, so first off, um, the videotape. Actually, no. First off, before I get to the videotape, the locker that Rust has that he wanted to show Hart. Um, you know, they alluded to it in the last episode. The two detectives saying, "Oh, you know, he doesn't want to show this to us. We think he's hiding something. Uh, we think he's in on it because he's like do." It. Basically, they thought that he was hiding people in there because they thought he was a murderer. When clearly that's not the case. He's been, still been investigating it, which was shown in the flashbacks. Um, and everything that he told Hart in this uh, storage unit, I couldn't help but just listen to it. I got chills from everything, like all the connections and everything. I really want to go back and watch it season through to kind of like pick up on little things I didn't pick up on because stuff that he was talking about in this episode, like the 
man with green ears and the spaghetti looking face and then the man with scars on his face who we do see at the end of the episode so that's going to be interesting um especially because of the way that they showed him and who he interacted with uh so that's really going to be interesting how that plays out next week um but it was really cool to kind of see what he had in the storage unit uh basically had a whole evidence wall in there which they relocated to hart's new office uh, his investigative service office um so I thought that that was great. Um, now the videotape that Hart show that Hart was shown, um, I'm really happy that they didn't show more of it. It made me feel uncomfortable, um, but it was it was important to the story. So I mean, kudos to them for putting it in there to an extent. Um, that's all I needed to see of it. I had chills watching it, and it, they really did a good job of getting the right shots to make the audience feel uncomfortable. And I thought that was great because, you know, like, oh, my God, I can't believe that that's happening. So you really see how serious what they're investigating is. And I love the way that it was done. It was very well shot, um, kind of everything. It was very well edited, so you didn't see too much. Uh, so very kudos to the editor and to the cinematographer um, for a great scene right there. And the last couple things we'll talk about, the last thing I really want to talk about the man with the scarred face. You know, down here he was all scarred. Um, the lawnmower guy. <laughs> I'm, pr- I th- I'm not sure if he's a lawnmower guy from previous episodes. I need to look because I know there's been a couple guys on lawnmowers. For some reason, lawnmowers have been like a, a, on, like a very popular thing to pop up in this season. Um, if you have any like knowledge of why that is, please comment that below. I'd love to know. Um, I don't. I haven't really picked up on the motif if there is one. Uh, I really want to know why there's so many lawnmowers and uh, like stuff in here. Like, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, but so it's the guy, the lawnmower that they showed towards the end of the episode. Very chilling when he's talking. He's very creepy. Very precise at what he's saying. He's choosing his words very wisely because clearly he doesn't want to get caught. Because he's apparently the worst one out of everyone that has done something in this kind of. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? The kind of cult um, ring, the <clears throat> the crime ring that's been doing all these terrible, terrible things to women and children. And I can't wait to see how this plays out next week, especially because the two men that he interacts with were who? The two detectives investigating Cole. I couldn't believe that that's who they interacted with, that he interacted with them because they just drove off. They didn't even know... And they talk like Hart and Cole both mentioned the man with the scarred face, so it's really interesting, um, <laughs> you know that they didn't pick up on that when they saw him, and you know they they asked this, like, the way that he was talking, you know something's up, and I can't wait to see it next week. I know I keep saying that, but I really can't. I think that it's going to be a fantastic season finale next week. Comment below what you thought of this episode. I thought it was great, great way to set up the final episode. Um, I really love the story of this season. I can't wait to see what else they have in store for us. Um, comment below what you thought. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? How do you think it's going to play out next week? Um, what did you think of the interactions with the man with the scarred face? Do you agree with basically like what I liked about the episode? There really wasn't much to not like. Um, there was a couple little conventional things, but you know, I kind of put that behind it because everything else is so well done, well acted. Um, everything is done for a reason. And it's great to see it all play out because certain things have played out already and they really do a great job with writing those in and they know what they're doing. And I, I I haven't been this excited for a season finale since maybe like the Breaking Bad series finale. Um, So I can't wait to see what happens next week. The show's great. Everything about it is fantastic. I have nothing bad to say. Uh, Comment below what you thought. And if you're not subscribed yet subscribe because it takes that much effort also comment below if you know what the deal is with all the lawnmowers that have been shown throughout the season uh because i want to know why those are popping up uh but yeah that's just about all i have to say about the newest episode of true detective join me next week when i review the season finale of true detective um i'm looking forward to it hope you guys are too see you next week